I believe that if you are if you are one of those persons and you are hearing this understand that they may have relocated with scholarship they may have relocated with study loan they may have combined any of those two or with some relatives helping them here and there but even if you don't have relatives that will help you it is still possible for you to do your study abroad all by yourself <laughs> hello how are you doing okay so actually i decided to talk to you about how other people are funding their study abroad journey how they are funding their relocation journey that you are not supposed to know about all right <laughs> you're not supposed to know about it but uh, through this video you'll get more uh, clarity so what usually happens is that um sometimes some people don't know that other people are actually going about their study abroad journey you will look at your neighbor you know think of it haven't you realized that sometimes there is that neighbor that you in your mind they are like no this one is not going to travel no. ah if if there's anybody to even travel you have to travel before them and suddenly they come out and they tell you that they've either relocated or they are relocating have that happened to you before maybe um your colleague at work okay your colleague at work that maybe you are even a senior worker in that place right and then before you know it you hear that he or she is no longer coming to work what happened what happened they've relocated haven't you been wondering how are they actually doing this thing <laughs> If you're like me that I'm very curious, if you're like me that I'm very curious, you actually be able to, um, you actually be able to have those kind of thoughts. But one thing is, of course, there are lots of people that they themselves may not be rich or they don't have the money that is required for travel abroad. But you'll be shocked. They have a mom, they have a dad, they have an uncle, they have an auntie that can actually help them, right? So this also means that if you are that kind of person you have people around you that can actually help you think of talking to them especially this season especially this season so, some people they are going to travel to their home uh, like to their hometown they are going to meet that uncle that likes them so much that auntie that likes them so much this is an opportunity for you to talk to them about your travel abroad journey this is an opportunity for you to talk to them about that is if you know those that are really willing to support you not just a, not, not not just um anybody who is going to who you are going to tell and suddenly they are going to suddenly they are going to uh talk you down and talk you out of your dream right that uncle that have always told you that if you need anything call me that auntie that have always told you that if you need anything call me this is an opportunity for you to call them speak with them and talk to them about your travel abroad journey but this is actually not the secret this thing i'm saying you already know it before now right i'm just reminding you now the real secret the real secret is that a lot of people okay a lot of people are able to travel abroad through scholarship believe it or not some people travel abroad through scholarship meaning your school fees is ten thousand dollars and the school is the one paying for it guess what when a school is paying your school fees they give you a document that shows that they are the one paying your school fees that is the document you attach to your application as proof of funds meaning that normally you know those times when you go and start looking for accounts who will borrow your account who will give you accounts for you to apply for visa right no if you are going on scholarship full scholarship right you don't need that instead what you actually need is a letter from the school that is what the embassy is going to look out for instead of bank account from you or from your relative so people are actually relocating through full scholarship in case i doubt anybody that follows dr linda Hemme on social media is just hearing this for the first time but just in case you are hearing this you come across this video maybe it was shared by your friend or you you accidentally bumped into it understand that it is true now there, 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 there's a difference between uh, when we say people can travel abroad on scholarship and people have traveled abroad on full scholarship people are still traveling abroad on full scholarship 
people will travel abroad on full scholarship. You know why I, I, I went on to demarcate? Because I, Dr. Linda Ihemi, am a living witness that you can travel abroad on full scholarship because that is how I came to Canada, on full scholarship. If you are listening to me right now and you are like wondering, how are people doing it? How, how are they doing it? Understand that scholarship is one of the biggest trick. You get a full scholarship, you don't need somebody's account. Because you just get a letter from the school and you use it as proof of funds. I know some other people have also been asking me about how do they do proof of funds for people on scholarship. People on scholarship, you get a letter from your school, you upload it. In that place, they say proof of fund. That's where you upload it. See, I need to explain to you that it's not that simple. It's not that simple. There is how to calculate how much you need to just make sure that the letter given to you by the school is covering it. If it's not covering it, you know how you will go back and forth with the school to see that they are giving you a letter that is that is appropriate con relate in, in relation to the money they are giving to you okay so don't take what i just said like who client and think i run away with it you get visa denied then you say you implemented what dr linda said and it did not work it's not it, it, that would be your fault all right but the summary of it the, the the layman understanding of it is that when you are going on full scholarship and you you take a letter from the school that is what you use instead of a letter uh, like an account statement now if you have account statement you can still add it it's not a problem it's not that if you add it they will deny your visa no but you have to understand that there is an alternative to your bank account there is an alternative so don't think that because you have not because i know some people that this is what is stopping them from even taking action from their study abroad dream right they'll feel like well dr linda well, i know how to do all those things but i don't know how i'm going to worry about my proof of funds so you know so i'm not going to start <laughs> so i just want you to know that scholarship is the way out now there's another question i've also had around proof of funds that question is some people they don't know that even when you don't get full scholarship or even when you don't get scholarship at all you can study abroad on study loan without collateral without cosigner without dropping your grandma's grave or grandpa's grave or great grandfather's grave father's grave right without dropping your car your house your land the p organizations will give you loan organization international organizations this is part of what we show people that come to get trained advantage migration we show you how to get loan from international bodies which of the schools are, are, are loan eligible which of the programs are loan eligible these are the things if you didn't get that uh, you can always email me i will clarify <laughs> right so this is so uh, one of the things we show people so that even if let's say because some people no matter how you tell them that even with third class they can get scholarship they will not believe it and you know why they won't get the scholarship? Not because it's not possible, but because they don't believe. Right? Because they don't believe, they will not even apply. Because they did not apply, nobody is going to come and wake them up from their house and tell them there's a scholarship for you. Because you did not even apply. Because you think that you cannot get it. <laughs> Seriously, it's a mindset thing. Some people think that if they have 2-2, two -two, if they have third class, they can't get scholarship. No matter how we talk about it they feel like no 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 dr linda forget it scholarship team mm -mm. let me just get the admission let me but how will i do it my dear um one thing you have to know is that you can actually use study loan to fund your education that is the number two secret i'm revealing to you in case you don't know about it in case you don't know about it okay your you can get study loan and now similar to the scholarship scholarship is coming from the school right so the school gives you a letter similar to the scholarship when you get uh, sorry when you get loan when you get loan from the uh, loan body the international loan body they usually will give you a letter stating that they gave you a loan stating how much loan they gave to you okay it is that loan document 
it is that loan document that you are going to actually upload for your visa application you see so when you get loan you get a letter from the loan body the, that's what you upload as your proof of funds when you get scholarship you upload the letter from your school or from the scholarship body that is what that is what you upload as your proof of funds in all these cases if you if the loan is covering everything or if the scholarship is covering everything you do not need a, your own account however let's say it is a partial scholarship of uh, partial loan for example right uh, for the sake of people that are not uh, that are not uh, vantage migration students who don't know how to get maybe loan that will cover everything maybe somebody gave you a loan a small loan in your in your in your situation then take that loan combine it with your account statement if that is what you want to do because some people let's say your school fees is twenty thousand dollars or let's say your school fees is ten thousand dollars you got loan for five thousand dollars you yourself may have applied for five thousand dollar loan because you have the other five thousand right so once you get the loan you uh, the loan document you can attach it with your own account to combine it to use it for the uh, uh, visa application the summary of this thing is that the people are funding their study abroad dream against all odds people are funding their study abroad dream against all odds some are funding it with scholarship some are funding it with loan some are combining scholarship and loan right then some of them too the, their relatives are helping them so when you are wondering that your co-worker that's your church member that's your friend you're wondering how do they how did they actually travel and you know most time they won't tell you true of us true or for talk truth let the devil be ashamed most times they will not tell you how they did it have you like how many of you here if you are listening to me now think of it do you have any friend that actually relocated abroad if yes how many of them actually sat you down to explain to you exactly how they did it? Talk now. Comment. Drop a comment. Drop a comment. Let us see those that have very good friends. We all have friends. We all know what I'm talking about. Have there been situations where your friend relocated? They told you, this is what I did. This is what I did. This is where I got the scholarship. This is how, how I applied. This is how I did my documents. This is how I did this one. This is how I got the loan. This is where I applied. This is... Do you see the point? Most times, your friends won't reveal this to you. All you will know is that there is a co-worker and the person has traveled. I believe that if you are... If you are one of those persons and you are hearing this, understand that they may have relocated with scholarship, they may have relocated with study loan, they may have combined any of those two or with some relatives helping them here and there. But even if you don't have relatives that will help you, it is still possible for you to do your study abroad all by yourself with the help of scholarship and with the help of loan in case your scholarship did, is not full scholarship or you did not get scholarship at all especially for those that don't believe that because they have third class or two two they can never get scholarship especially for those you can you can i'm telling you you can so but worst case scenario you can combine it with a loan and you're able to travel it is possible it is possible it is possible this is how other people are funding their education and you should fund your education too all right? Love you.